So we're about halfway through the build of our custom bench. It'll be 11 foot six wide and it's built using the iconic wall, which is part of the fascia system. Once again, we're building an 18 inch bench here and it's going to sit directly on our synthetic base. Why? Because we're installing our para slabs, which are two and three eighths inch thick. And on top of the bench is the raffinado cap, which has that same thickness. The iconic wall is six inches per course. So to get that 18 inches, it needs to rest directly on our base. So to do that, we take our structural block, take our chisel and hammer very lightly, Tap, tap, tap. Once that's off, that gives us a smooth surface on which to lay our structural units. Now, as we can see here, we've come up on a 90 degree corner. We can either cut a unit to fit into the space, we could use a guillotine splitter, or we can use the split lines that already exist on the block, use our same chisel and hammer, go the whole way around. And you'll want to tap on all four sides. then finish it off. And once that's split, it'll look something like this. This unit, following that pre-set split line, will line us up perfectly, giving us a nice smooth edge, which give us the perfect overhang to set our corner unit. We can set that in place, and this protrudes just enough for the next fascia unit to be perfectly lined up. So we'll continue this way for the next two courses, and then we'll get to our final height. This area here sticks out so you can put your feet up, and the actual bench depth is 42 inches. Since we're using the raffinado cap, which is 20 inches long, we'll need to support the units in the center. Here we see a stack of structural units. So we'll have 128 along the back, and the depth is 14, which will go here, giving us those 42 inches. We could have also opted to backfill this area with clean stone, but we're towards the end of our build here. We're trying to keep the site clean, and we have this material on hand, so this was the better option for us. We've already run our low voltage cable for our in-light lighting system, and the last step will be the installation of an ice bucket to keep the drinks nice and cool while you hang out by the fire. Another 45 minutes or so, and this build will be done. 